Breaking, XRP has just been listed on another popular exchange GBX. Things seem to be still working out great for RP as the crypto bags yet another listing in a relatively new environment. On this day, 9th in 2019, the GBX Gibraltar blockchain exchange has announced its decision to DDX RP as the first of the cryptocurrencies to be traded on its platform. GBX is the first in the country GBX came into being back in February 2018 through an ICO that pooled $27 million. GBX is designed as a crypto exchange and a digital marketplace for ICOs. In November 2018, GBX was issued with a full license by the GFSE Gibraltar Financial Services Commission, effectively making the company the first in the country to operate a regulated crypto exchange. As such, GBX went on to offer insurance coverage for the assets listed on its GBX DAX platform. XRP is the first of these digital assets listed on GBX DAX. Ripple to reshape banking and finance according to the founder and MD of the GSX Gibraltar Stock Exchange, Nick Cowan, Ripple is a big industry player that mirrors GSX's vision of reshaping the processes and methods involved in the global banking and finance operations by use of the new and more effective blockchain technology. In that sense, and since XRP is a crypto token that can be traded globally, adding the coin to the GBX DAX listing works well to boost liquidity and adoption. How does this affect XRP? At the time of this reporting, RP's price stands at $0.363, with a total market cap of $15 billion. Currently, there are about 40.79 XRP tokens in circulation within the crypto market. Judging from the recent events, it's safe to say that XRP has remained relatively stable throughout the trials and tribulations faced by the market of late. As for the latest listing, we can only wait and see how XRP responds. Ripple tends to plan more business in global corridors with regulatory clarity. In the most recent episode of the Ripple Drop, the company has highlighted a few of the key success stories and products that the year 2018 witnessed in the Ripple and XRP ecosystem. Here, Marcus Treacher and Ashish Birla, respectively working as the SVP, Customer Success and Product Management spoke about the products and partnerships of Ripple established in 2018. Treacher began by stating that 2018 was the year when the Ripple Net came to life wherein the company built a network of up to 40 countries around the world and started to bring the whole payment vision of Ripple to fruition. When asked about the key milestones in the course of the year, he answered by mentioning one PayFX a payment service by Santander. Here, he conveyed that the service is being rolled out by the company all over the world. Treacher added, ND Ripple is driving that solution. What we are now doing is using that know-how to help them very quickly develop winning propositions for their own apps and their own instant banking services. What's it doing is it's creating a true global network and that's starting to bring the internet or value to life. Regarding the accomplishments of the company on the product front, Birla mentioned XCurrent and XRapid as the champions of the year. He said that Ripple wanted to make all the products work better with each other. For instance, XCurrent, the product that has been outsold by the company in the market for more than three years now, had been made to work with XRapid this year. He further explained the importance of the synergy, mentioning that XRapid can be used to create on-demand liquidity on an instant basis in Mexico. In his words, that's such a big deal is because you don't need to have the expensive capital tied up in Mexico. You can use XRapid for on-demand liquidity, instantly sourcing liquidity and delivering your payment into Mexico. One of the really exciting things about XRapid is that not only did we get the product launched not technically but we gotta live in Mexico. We gotta live in the Philippines as well. For 2019. Birla suggested that the goal was to bring XRapid into more specific corridors with regulatory clarity and a need for solving a big pain point for a customer base.